Hey guys, this is a quick look at my reef tank. Uh, I'm just going to go over a couple highlights and then in future videos we'll get into bigger subjects. So this is it. It's a 120 gallon. It's got the two overflows in the tank. This was a quick buy after my 75 with backpack devices threw 25 gallons of water onto the floor. I had to get something. I needed it right then. It was the weekend. I went and bought a 120 gallon from a guy nearby. He said it didn't have any scratches. Of course it does. There's scratches all over, but that's fine. This is kind of an in-between tank. I hope to be moving here in the next year, year and a half. And this, this tank does fine. Um, it has right now it has t5 led lighting a blue plus a orphic day reef day an orphic blue uh blue plus and then a coral plus t5 oh that's a lot of pluses all right so and then there are four of the neptune Lunar lights. I just recently got those. Uh, this is how the video is going to be. Sorry, there's my hands in the way. There's black for a moment. Uh, it's it's going to be handheld. No editing. Uh, this is the tank. It's obviously a mixed reef. I have a couple buddies in there. Speaking of buddies, that's my main buddy. He's a puppy dog. Um, he's my naso tang. I have a yellow tang that's very skittish. I have three blue-green uh, chromas. They all have very inventive names, big, medium, and little. Big is in the middle there. You could tell he's big. He has uh, the black line on his whatever fin that's called. Medium is the same size, basically, as big, but doesn't have that black line. And then small is, or little, small, whatever you want to call them. Uh, is obviously the small one. This guy is just known as Nemo. He's a jerk. He bites me every time I put my hand in there. Knocked that coral off the frag plug just an hour ago, maybe half hour ago. Uh, I'll show you a couple corals that I really enjoy in this tank. Let me show you this guy. Oh. That's a electric flame scallop. Now you can kind of see the zapping in there. Um, had him about a month and something, month and a half maybe. Recent edition of the Jason Fox jack o' lantern Leptoceras. One of my original purchases back there is a. I don't remember what kind. It wasn't a Japanese, but it's a green toadstool. Um, always survived. Had it probably three and a half years, but never thrived. Sometimes it'll go months where it's green polyps fully out. Sometimes it just goes back and does this. I don't know. One of the first frags I got uh, sold to me as a... Uh, L.A. Laker Zoanthid. I think that's from Saltwater Depot. Uh, whatever that, I mean, they have cheap, super cheap prices on the website, but I stuck it way down there on the bottom of that rock and it just climbed right up and in no time and then it stalled out for so long because there was no place for it to go. It just keeps kind of growing onto the side of itself, you know, just right back here. Uh, polyps will form on polyps. Um, but now that it's on the overflow, it's starting to grow off onto that. Uh, got some frags. That one in the middle in the back, that's the uh, Frag House Corals Purple Poison. Unfortunately, my Digital Aquatics Reef Keeper Light that I had running on this and my previous tanks went down. Um, 
it stopped the dosers from dosing for at least a week. I figure maybe a week and a half. And if you can see, this was all that Frag House Corals Purple Poison all up there and it came a couple inches out. It's a beautiful dark purple with green polyps, even though it, you know, right here, it's very green with just that kind of bluish purple, but that purple gets really dark. It's a beautiful, beautiful coral. But I lost a bunch of it to RTN, uh, rapid tissue necrosis but I managed to cut off a couple pieces. I got that one that's grown off onto that plug really quick. And then right there above, uh, he's, he loves crawling all over my corals, right there at the top. So that's a, uh, I'm happy to still have it in the tank. Speaking of happy to have in the tank, these are two new additions from a recent live sale from Top Shelf Aquatics. The one on the right is the Optimus Prime. That one I bought and it was the uh, most expensive coral I've ever bought. Uh, super excited for that. But when I received my shipment, I got the wrong shipment. Uh, it happens. I, under, I own a business too. It happens. Mistakes happen. It's all about how you make up for it. And they made up for it with a TSA Sin City. And if you need to know how great that is, go on the website. See what a colony looks like. I just can't wait until mine looks like their pictures. But I have some great corals in here. The the green pallies, I don't care for. They were part of a rock that I bought that, you know, included the monopora. There's a, um, I don't even remember what it's called or what it even looks like anymore because the green pallies just covered right over it. Uh, but there's a beautiful, some sort of LPS under there. Um, that's a Jason Fox slow burn above it that has been a slow burn. It's survived for a long time, but now it's starting to thrive. It's starting to take off. That uh, is a WW Worldwide Corals Slime Ball in Acropora. That's really taken off recently. That was just a tiny little piece. Uh, purple Stylo. That thing's been around a while. Took off really well. Um, hoping to grow it onto the overflow and then snap off the rest of it, that big colony, sell that off to somebody that needs a large piece in their in their aquarium, and uh, and then have it just grow off the overflow. I think that'd be neat. I think I've seen it before. It looks cool. All right, so this is a uh, green slimer. It's not looking great, but that's because it's under. It's right up against the glass, so it gets a lot of the T5 bulb that's directly above and then some of the rest of the bulbs versus where it was, was right up here on top. Let's see if we can get a little clear. There we go. Right up there on top where it's getting all the light and all the flow, even though it's not getting a ton of flow at this moment. All right. So back there, I just recently confirmed the name of that one. That's a, uh, oh, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that when I name all the corals. Uh, just to show you some coral reference, that's a, was sold to me as a Walt Disney, the one in the middle there. Uh, I didn't care for the coloration. I wanted the true Walt Disney colors, so I got a big R Walt Disney, who is the originator of it. True yellow polyps, uh, just looks beautiful. That's not to say that this one isn't beautiful. I love how fuzzy it is. It has the yellow underneath, it's very cool. Uh, yeah. Bunch of acans. I need to get that colony sitting on top of some rocks so it can grow down, because uh, it's just starving itself right now. This little bit of SPS right here, I don't know exactly which one it is, but a fish rubbed up against something, some SPS, and dropped it off here. It also happened way in the back, by, back behind the GSP, and right there, along with another rub off. This is the Jason Fox Limelight Hydnophora that 
is right there. So a fish must have come up from between those rocks and rubbed up against it, and then rubbed up against those rocks. Kind of crazy how it happens. Yes, we see you. All right, they're getting super hungry, I guess. I just sold a, another fist size colony of um, a frog spawn not too long ago. Uh, going more SPS, as you could tell by all the little, little frags of it everywhere. Here we have the apex, the JBO DCP 15,000 sine wave controller. I love the pump, it does a great job. The problem is it's not consistent, so then you get gurgles in your overflow. Um, I, don't, I don't care about the sine wave technology on a return pump on just regular, you know, wave maker, sure, alter your flow, that's great, but return pump, it doesn't make much sense, but it was, it was cheap, and it saves, uh, saves money on electricity usage, and it pushes a hell of a lot of water cheaply, so I have a, uh, right here, we have the, I have, oh, this is the 500 watt Finex heater is plugged into this, into the Baylight temperature controller. Yes, it's a junk pile. I'm a real reefer. Uh, JBO controller. All of this is going to be encapsulated in a uh, cabinet. I haven't decided if I'm building it myself. I just recently built this, and I'm, I was making sure everything was going to work. I've changed lighting. The Orphic bars, you need to, they're longer than the 48 inches. Kind of a design fault. The, the first examples, of the Orphic bars were, uh, they fit inside the canopy. The OR2s do not. But all of this is going to be encapsulated. Um, I'll have a fan running on the ballasts for the T5 and the LED bars. Uh, same, same thing for down here. And I'm going to get a large cabinet to go in here. Uh, as you can see, I've replaced some trim. It's just been figuring out what I'm going to do, how we're going to manage the outlets, and everything from there. So that's to come as well. A little kitchen remodel. Um, I, I've been using Reef Snow recently. It's been working all right. Uh, I just got... I can't zoom. Some Polyp Lab Polyp Booster. Hold it like that, maybe. There we go. Pollock booster. That uh, that really got the corals a popping. And then feeding them up with some roids, roiding them out. No pox every day. Dump that in the sump. Speaking of, let's get down there. We'll go over this later, but. Remember, this was a quick build, so uh, everything kind of came together very quickly. It's two returns. Uh, two, okay, so the overflow goes down into a roller mat because I was tired of washing socks every day. SCA 302 skimmer always worked really well. Ready for a change? I mean, a clean. It's healthy now. Uh, Santa Monica drop 1.2. There's the DCP 15,000 return pump, pushes a hell of a lot of water, and that's just a cheap Sun Sun 270 gallon per hour uh, wave maker, just to keep things moving in here. I have a bunch of rock, you know, just so for diversity. And in the sump, I have uh, around an eight to nine gallon ATO. I'm dosing bulk reef supply two part with bulk reef supply dosers. There and right there is my uh, fusion air pump for the Santa Monica. Uh, yep. 
There's another shot of lighting. I'm gonna feed these guys a little bit. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Tell me what you wanna talk about more. I wanna hear what you guys want me to go into. Do you want me to give you a full lowdown on all the equipment? Do you want livestock report? Do you wanna know how a reef tank works? Tell me what you want me to make a video about. See you on the next one.